Hey everyone! So today I just have a haul video for you guys because I've been doing lots of shopping recently. And if you are new to my channel, hi, it's me, Gretchen. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It is right down below so you can be notified when I post new videos. And as always, don't forget to follow me on all of my various social media so you can keep updated even when I'm not posting videos. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know you like my haul videos. And without further ado, let's get on into it. So the first place I went to for clothes is LF and I just went through a in this past weekend for a rush here at BU and tonight is midnight I'm so nervous like I really hope I get my first choice but anyway I went to LF to pick out dresses for prep night which was last night well it already feels like so long ago oh there's something in my eye hold on I think I got it out ow well, yeah, so I got both of these dresses for prep night, which was last night, because I wanted options on which one to wear, and obviously I went with all black. I sort of knew that I was all long, so I don't even know why I got this red one. But yeah, I just got this black dress from LF, as you can see it on. It's just like a choker dress. It goes high up, and it's just like this black suede material that was so soft and comfortable. I got so many compliments on it. Literally, everyone said it was like the cutest thing ever. And then when I was at LF, I actually found these heels in the dressing room, and I asked the girl who was working in the dressing room, I'm like, are these like for sale? Like, can I buy them? And she was like sure because I tried these on with a dress and I'm like these are so cute and like perfect to wear with it so they're just like these nude heels they like tie around your ankle so yeah that's so cute I got a lot of compliments on these too everyone is so nice they're by the brand Schutz S-C-H-U-T-Z so yeah I've never heard of that before but oh my gosh it literally says on the bottom I literally just found on the bottom it said they were initially at 185 that's so insane I got this during their like 60% off sale and same with that dress so they were so affordably I would definitely recommend to go to LF during their like 60% off sales because everything becomes way more affordable than how it usually is I just got this red dress from Urban Outfitters it's just like this fit and flare like skater dress and I like the neckline at the top too I think that's really cute I don't know what that necklines called but it's like really pretty and the back is just like a little scoop and there's a zipper so this is super cute and if I get my first choice of alpha feed night their colors are red and I'll get a lot of wear out of this red dress so cross your fingers oh my gosh by the time I'm editing and posting this video I already know <laughs> so nervous <laughs> last like clothing shoe item I have to show you is just from Tory Burch literally I'm such a loser I saved like so much packaging in this video to show you because I felt like cool being like woohoo but literally I wore these all weekend and I just wore them to class today so I, I just put them back in the box for a dramatic effect but I just got these all black Tory Burch flats and I feel like everyone and their mother has these and literally my friend was like Gretchen you don't already have those like how do you not have them so I guess I'm really late on the bandwagon but they're just these black plain flats and they have like the gold detailing and they're so comfortable like everyone during recruitment because you're walking around so much was like complaining about how their feet hurt and literally these were brand new and you'd think I'd have to like break them in and they'd be uncomfortable at first and I've had so many flats that are so uncomfortable these are so comfortable they haven't hurt my feet at all and I don't know if it's because they're like bunchy in the back or they're just like squishy on the bottom but these are really nice quality flats because my feet didn't hurt at all all right moving on to Sephora it's so bad I literally have an obsession guys so the first thing I'll show you is very quickly becoming a favorite it is the it Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better, CC Cream, there's SPF 50, Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum, Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. Basically, it's just like really good stuff that's really good for your skin. I got the shade Medium, but it's so insane how full coverage this is, guys. My sweet mate Noel showed it to me, and I actually tried hers out in light, and it was like too light for me. Medium's a little bit too dark, but you know what, whatever, I like being tan. Or pretending to be tan but this is so insane this is like more full coverage than like my full coverage foundations but it's CC cream so it has like good stuff in there for you better than just like foundation and it doesn't make me break out and on top of that literally what sold me like right as I borrowed hers for a day and I literally went to Sephora the next day and got this it smells like lemons it smells so good I can smell it just by going like that Oh my gosh. And if you guys have acne prone skin like me, you need to try this out. The only thing I feel like that might be an issue is since it is SPF 50, I feel like if I'm taking photography with flash, I might have that like white cast on my face. I think that happens from high SPF foundations. I don't know, we'll see. I haven't tried it out yet, so I'll let you know, I'll keep you updated. And I saved the little box to show you guys. Why Gretchen, why? Next from Sephora, I just got the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and this I've used a bunch before. It smells so good, favorite moisturizer ever. It's just the best and I actually just showed it in my February favorites video so 
it is a favorite and I was using like a little one but I just got this really big one and if you guys didn't know my eyebrows are literally so drawn on because I have the worst like natural eyebrows but these have come like a long way because they used to be like horrible and I really like how they are right now I like them like thicker like this I feel like they go with my face better I have a really big head so anyway my eyebrows went from 0 to 100 real quick and it's all because of Anastasia Beverly Hills brow Wiz in soft brown is my shade I went through this pencil so quick like my last one literally ran out in a month so I just picked up this one wait let's see let's roll it up and see how long it is oh my god is this gonna make it break I'm so nervous I just want to see how long it is because I feel like you would think it'd be the whole pencil but it definitely isn't because I went through it so quick this is so dangerous of me why am I doing this I'm scared, I'm scared, I don't want to roll it up anymore. It's gonna make it break. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad idea, Gretchen. Bad, 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 bad idea. I think it's only like mm, it's like around 20 bucks, so it's not that bad, but I'd rather not have to buy a new one every month. So am I doing something wrong? Like I literally put so much in my eyebrows. But I don't know. I still love this. It's still so good. I used the pomade for a while, but then I realized I liked the way my eyebrows looked when I had this better. I feel like I have more control. The pomade is just too like freehand for me. Like you have to use a brush, and this just makes it easy because it's like a skinny little pencil. So I really love this. Just let me know, do you guys like run out of yours super quick? Because I literally go through it so quick. Then I just got these Sephora Collection eyelashes because I've never tried any other fake eyelashes than the ones I'm wearing right now. And I get questions about these all the time. These are just the Kiss Ever Easy 11 lashes, I think. And literally you can't find them anywhere, so I always order them like in bulk online. If I can find a link, I'll link them down below because I love these. And same with everything else in this haul video, I will have a link down below. But yeah, I just wanted to try out some new ones. So these are the Regal number 22 lash. Yeah, these look pretty dramatic. So these are exciting to try out. So the last thing I got from Sephora is just the Detox Dry Shampoo from Dry Bar. Just looks like this. I went to Dry Bar the first time this weekend and I was obsessed. I was like, this is literally my place. How have I never been here? Like, oh, I just love it. I'm going to go all the time now. But my friend Kerrigan actually showed me their dry shampoo and it smells so good it smells just like your hair once you leave there and it's like shampooed and conditioned in there shampoo and conditioner like it smells so good and I would so recommend for blondes because when I put it at the top of my hair it makes it like a little bit whiter so especially when I'll have roots I'll use it a bunch because it'll like help blend my blonde hair and my brown roots but I just got my hair done so it's like not bad right now but this smells so good and I mean it would probably be fine for brown hair too you just have to like rub it in more so you don't have like that white like powdery look at the top you know it's amazing such a good dry shampoo and now I don't have to steal Kerrigan's anymore. Then I just got this Skinnavia Post Makeup Recovery Spray. And I've been using this recently. After you take off your makeup, you just spray it all over your face. Here, I'll just tell you what it says. Our zinc-infused mist rapidly replenishes lost nutrients and moisture immediately after removing makeup. High purified witch hazel and gentle exfoliants help prevent clogged pores that can lead to breakouts. I need that because my skin is so acne prone. Like it probably looks okay right now, but there is a bunch of pimples like hiding under here. <laughs> Directions apply within five minutes of removing makeup spray two to four times. Yeah, I always do that because right after I move my makeup I just go So yeah, I've been liking this. I will keep you guys updated on how it's doing with my skin Then like I said, I got my roots done recently in Boston at a new hairdresser And she was asking me if I use like a deep conditioning treatment and I never have and she really like recommended it And I don't know if you guys know about Olaplex But basically it's just like this deep conditioning treatment that you can get at a salon from what I know phase one and two You can only get done at the salon. It's like an oil treatment and then I don't know something else and then phase or like number three you can buy. So I just got this on Amazon, it was around like 20 bucks. It says like Olaplex number three. Use once a week between chemical services to strengthen hair, hair perfecter. So I'm gonna start using this and again, I will keep you updated on my feelings towards it because I'm excited. It's like this little bottle, but good things can come in little packages, so we will see. Okay, who else is obsessed from ordering off of Sephora too because you literally get so many samples. I love it. I just have a bunch of makeup from CoverGirl to show you and they're not like paying me to show this in this video I just want to show you guys because I've actually loved this foundation for so long So when they reached out to me and said like do you want to work together? I was like, um, is that even a question like yes if you guys have seen my old makeup videos and hauls and stuff This has been a favorite foundation for so long because if you guys know my skin gets oily so quick And this is literally the one foundation that I feel like my skin doesn't get oily with it like stays matte So I just have it two shades the CoverGirl outlast all day stay fabulous three-in-one foundation 
and that is a mouthful. Wow. And 842 and 845. Medium beige and warm beige. And then this I already used. It's the Outlast All Day Intense Color Brilliant Base Color. And it kind of looks like maroon if you're looking at it. But literally on it was more of like red. I don't know if you guys saw my post on Insta. It was with this. So I really like this. Word on Valentine's Day. Out to dinner. Then I just have the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Matte Finishing Powder in 830. It's just perfect. I've been using it so much. And then I have the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Concealer in 820 Light Pale. And I've been using this. Literally it works so good. I've been using it on like blemishes and it doesn't move. And I've been using it under my eyes as well and it's so good. And then I just got this in the mail today actually. It's the Outlast All Day Custom Reds for light pale skin and I really like the way they do that matching the lip shades with your skin tone because I think that's super important and yeah they're just these little lip glosses so super excited to try these out as well and this one I'm actually wearing right now it kind of has come off a bit but I feel like it's still like glossy if you can see it's the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Intense Color Brilliant in 100 Nude Intensity and this I like because it's more of like an everyday like I wear this to like class and stuff whereas I'm not really comfortable wearing like a super red lip to class and the last things I have to show you are just from Eco Tools. I got some Eco Tools brushes, and I love their brushes like forever. They're like affordable, but they're so soft. And obviously, Eco Tools is really all about the environment, so I'm so about that, and I think that's super special and nice. So I just have these like makeup sponges, and literally, guys, I used this the other day, and it worked exactly the same as my beauty blender from Sephora, which is like probably five times the price. So I would highly recommend this. And then it also comes with this like little smaller one. I feel like I would use this for like cream bronzer. And then I have these little color correcting minis, and if you can't tell. My light pink one is getting so gross because I've been using it for like underneath my eye like under eye concealer And then these ones are good for other things like dark spots redness stuff like that I lost one of them. It's around somewhere and last but not least I have these eco tools brushes This is just the big fluffy powder one and I've been using this for just powder on my face And this one is literally the perfect size for contouring I've been using it for contour like every single day because I'm obsessed with bronzer I don't know if you can tell I feel like my studio lights kind of like wash me out make me look a little bit paler But literally I wear a book ton of bronzer every day so yeah i think that is it for this haul video again everything will be linked down below for your convenience thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye still not wearing pants <laughs> never wear pants when i film but that's okay